Thank you. Thank you for coming out tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the president of Dirty Money Records. I am on my way to the hospital to drop off this specimen. And that specimen is stool. So I am dropping off my stool to the hospital um, because I have gastrointestinal issues. Like, seriously. So this is like a sensitive topic to most, but not to me. Y'all know I'm an open book, so it really doesn't make me any never mind. So, ever since I was a baby, I have always had terrible, terrible, terrible stomach issues. Like, very, like, serious stomach issues. Like, my mom has told me, like, when I was a baby, I had, like, four babysitters quit because my stomach was just always so terrible. So, when they would feed me, you know, or whatever, my stomach would just do the wild tussy, like... <laughs> Like King Kong is in there playing Double Dutch. Yes, it's King Kong. Like, oh my Jesus. And so, we've always known that I was lactose intolerant. We've know, always known that for a fact. But you know, it kind of lightened up some. And then, it was like tolerable. Because see me, I love dairy. I love, 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 love dairy. It's so hard for me not to eat dairy. Like almost everything that I eat has dairy. My favorite food to cook is macaroni and cheese. And I use a lot of cheese. A lot of cheese. <laughs> but, you know, I guess after me eating dairy for so long, knowing I was lactose intolerant, my digestive tract had just had enough. And so, even before then, even before now, like when I was 14 years old, it was a problem to where I couldn't eat hot foods anymore. Like, I used to love hot Cheetos. Like, I couldn't eat hot Cheetos anymore. Um, anything spicy, like hot chicken, anything that had some spice to it, couldn't eat it. Like, it really sucked. It really sucked. Because it was becoming to the point to where all of my favorite foods, I couldn't eat. Because... It would make me so sick. When I was 14, I um my mom took me to urgent care because I was at my grandfather's house one weekend and my stomach was hurting me so terribly. It was hurting so bad. Like the pain was unbearable. I was in the middle of the floor, stretched out, like curling my body around, like slithering in the floor like a snake to try to like get comfortable and make this gas go away or whatever it is feeling I was feeling in my stomach go away. So we went to the urgent care. They gave me um they gave me this medicine. I can't remember what it's called. It's these little like burgundy orange little circle pills. I can't remember what they're called. But Zantac. Zantac. I think it's Zantac. Is it Zantac? But um they, they, they gave me that medicine. They told me that if my stomach didn't feel any better to go to the emergency room. Because it was to the point where my stomach was hurting so bad to where I had a fever. I was sweating. I had chills. I had a migraine. I was just like completely uncomfortable. All from my stomach. Back pains. Like out of this world. Like my lower back. I, well, I've done my research now. So where, where your pancreas is, your lower back, it's like, oh my Jesus, Lord God, help me. <laughs> you don't understand. And so we, I took those meds or whatever, and I tried to make them work, and they just didn't cut it. And remind you, all of this was before um, Easter. So Easter comes, I'm hard-headed. I eat regularly like the doctor told me not to eat anything with red sauce anything spicy nothing greasy it's like no spaghetti no pizza stuff like that and i uh i was eating how i wanted to eat anyway and i paid the price for it 
And then, to top it off, I snuck and had a Jello shot, which had alcohol in it at the time. And so that just really topped it off. <laughs> Being grown. I'm looking for the hospital entrance because I don't have my glasses on. And we are here. So I ended up going to the emergency room on Easter because I was just in so much pain. This is, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is Beaumont Hospital. There it is. So I'm going to outpatient services to um, drop off my stool. They drew my blood the other day and did my blood work to see if I had celiac disease, which is something with digesting food as well. <sighs> I just need some answers at this point. So, um, yes, yeah, so I went to the emergency room when I was like 14 and I was there all night and they ended up um, numbing my stomach with some like little elixir that they made. And it helped temporarily when it wore off, the pain kind of came back and they gave me more meds. The meds, they kind of made the pain tolerable, but it didn't make the discomfort go away. So now here we are, I'm 20, and for the last three to four months, I have been having so many pains in my stomach all over again. And at first I thought it might've been from stress from work or something like that, but then I went on leave. And it's like, it doesn't matter what I eat at this point. Dairy, not dairy, green, meat, hell. I can eat me. At this point, <laughs> everything I eat makes my stomach hurt. I'm always uncomfortable. It's to the point where now my pains wake me up at night. Because I can't sleep because my stomach is just doing numbers on me. I wake up all the time at like three in the morning, four in the morning, and I just lay there. And I typically turn, like roll over, get on social media and just scroll until the light comes up. I have my own way of self-medicating. And so once I do that, my stomach feels a kind of, it feels a little better and then I can sleep. And it's like a lot of times I have to do that so that I can sleep because my stomach always hurts. So here we are. At outpatient services. And I am here to drop this off. And I will catch up with you guys when I come out. So. <laughs> I come all the way up here with my poo, and they close at five o'clock. They open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. <laughs> I'm so fucking pissed. So, I have to. They put, they, put, they put the little uh, quiet time, quiet hours. They hurt my big mouth. <laughs> so, what is up, you guys? I just picked up my prescription from CVS. All oh, this fucking laxative. This is laxative in this bag. Like, liters of laxative for this colonoscopy prep. And the doctor was telling me, like, you know, that the colonoscopy is the, well, he was saying the worst part, the worst part about all of this is the preparation for it, which means that I have to drink this laxative, which pretty much sucks, and I'm not looking forward to it. And so I'm pulling into my driveway because I do want to read y'all how much I have to drink. And it's ain't you. Uh-uh. Not you. Uh 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 uh. I think I'm talking to the right dude. I thought I knew you. 
so I have to drink. It says to take two liters at 7 p.m. the day before the, um, what is this shit called? Colonoscopy. Okay. So, it says drink two liters at 7 p.m. day before the colonoscopy and two liters six hours before it. Nothing orally four hours before. So, I really want to open it because I kind of want to see what this looks like. It's called, um, it said, it's called Gavalite Solution. Go lightly prep. Let's stick that. Wow. Oh, this is a lot of... Oh, is it a power line I have to feel? Wow. Jesus Christ. Wow. It's a powdery substance. I'm not drinking this shit. Jesus. How do you even... Then they're gonna give me a lemon flavor pack. <laughs> How would you even make this? Why does it taste like that? I'm gonna have to read these directions on how to make this. Cause this is ridiculous. This is like drinking a bottle, like a gallon of Kool-Aid. Like, they know they are wrong. Why do I have to go through this? You know, this is sometimes I be feeling like a little irritated that I have to even go through all of this because of some stomach issues that I really cannot control. Like, I don't want to be having to drink this shit, this stuff. I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to be cussing in this video. I don't want to have to drink this stuff and be having somebody play with my butt. Like, you know, but I guess it's fine because we do need to get to the bottom of what's wrong. I'd rather drink this and get it over with rather than to keep on being in discomfort and just waking up in the middle of the night because I can't sleep and my stomach is hurting and all of that crap. So, I will come back to you guys Um and as for this video, when I actually do start drinking this stuff, and I want to let you guys tune in throughout the whole entire process of me drinking it. Every time I run to the bathroom, I'm going to give you guys the whole nine yards. Because we are keeping it real on this channel. And don't forget to subscribe. When you subscribe, make sure that you press the little bell down there. Because how would you know if I post a video if you don't turn notifications on? And also thumbs up and comment below. Because, you know, see, I really, 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 really want to do this video because when I was looking up stuff about a colonoscopy to prepare myself for this, there weren't really many videos up. I think there were about two videos up, but there weren't any males talking about it. And, you know, I feel like it needs to be some men talking about it because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person this my age or nearer. I'm 20. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not the person, only person who's having these issues, especially not the only young male. And, you know, it's a pretty sensitive topic to most, like I said, but not to me. And so, you know, I definitely want to be that source to go to for not only the black young dudes who are going through this, but women. It doesn't have to even be a black thing, like all races, whoever is young, old, whoever just needs this video for some insight on what to expect with going into this process, come here. Let me help you. Look, come, come, come. Let me help. All right, guys, I'll be back. So I'm at work. Um, I can't record on the floor because I work for an insurance company and there's HIPAA privacy. So it is about 8.30 a.m. And it is 24 hours until my endoscopy and my colonoscopy. Um, I'm already hungry because I want some breakfast. I woke up starving for some reason. But I can't eat any solid foods. Only clear things today. Only clear beverages. So I guess I'll stop and get some jello when I get home. I don't know. But I'm hungry as heck. And 
later on today, I had to start the jug of laxatives. And I also did just get off of the phone with the nurse. Um, we were on the phone about for about six and a half minutes, going over my medical history. Um, they're prepping for my um, anesthesia tomorrow to make sure everything goes smoothly because I will be sedated during the whole entire procedure. So I'll tune back in with you guys then. Keep watching. So I have this here. Let me see if you guys can see it. I'm trying to get some better light so you guys can see what it really is. Okay, so this is like the laxative substance. This is how much it is. So, I'm actually behind. I was supposed to drink two liters at 7 p.m. It's about 7.36. Not that bad. Um, but I'm going to go fill this up. And I'm going to come back to you guys. I'm going to let you see me drink this nasty crap. And so, stay tuned. <laughs> So, I just went and filled this up. Now you have to shake it. This is a lot. A lot. Do you hear me? A lot. Look at all of this damn. Look at where it says fill line. Right, right there. If where the line is. I have to drink all of this. Everything has been dissolved yet. It says shake until everything is dissolved. Ooh, child, the ghetto! I think we should be all good. So this is Gavalite. Ma, give me some Gatorades. No red, no purple, no blue. Let's see how this shit tastes. My mom was going to Walmart, so I thought I'd slide that on in. Got my straw per usual. Now, they gave me this little flavor pack, but I don't think I really want to use it, because I definitely just feel like this will probably make it taste like Alka-Seltzer, I mean Alka-Seltzer, and I don't think I really want to taste that. Oh. This is awful. It makes you want to throw up while you're drinking it. It's kind of like, oh, Jesus. I can't drink this shit. It's kind of like, it's thick. Like, um, I really feel like I'm nauseous. Like, I want to throw up. <sighs> I'm barely even making a dent. <laughs> I'm 20, getting a colonoscopy at 20. A colonoscopy and an endoscopy at 20 years old. Because this shit right here, this needs to be gulped. I got this. Come on, that's what we're going to do. Oh, 
almost just threw up. <sighs> this too much. <coughs> So it says to, on the directions, it says drink at a rate of 240 milliliters, which is 8 ounces, every 10 minutes until 4 liters are consumed or rectal effluent. Effluent? I don't know. E-F-F-L-U-E-N-T. I'm going to say effluent. It's <coughs> clear. I'm not really sure how much eight ounces is, but I'm sure I did it. So it is 8.02 and still nothing. Excuse me. Uh, that's how I feel. I can definitely tell that I drunk that though. Like, my stomach. Uh, I feel kind of nauseated. Like, I want to throw up. I want to just go to the bathroom and put my finger down my throat and, like, throw all of this up. Because my stomach just feel like... I feel like I ate something that I know was probably bad, like... Not to mention, well, I'm not hungry anymore. I was starving before I drank that, but I'm not really hungry anymore. Um, I'm just kind of like, uh. I guess me drinking that kind of filled me up where I was hungry. But, um, I haven't eaten anything since yesterday, probably about 10 p.m., so, the endoscopy and the colonoscopy. So, the endoscopy and the colonoscopy are both being performed March 26th. It is March 25th, and I have not eaten since 10 p.m. March 24th. Whew. Child, I've been trying to think, like, what am I going to eat tomorrow? Like, on my way home, well, I have to have, my mom is going with me. My mom has to drive me home. Like, if I don't have someone drive me, they wouldn't even perform it because they're putting me to sleep. Mm. They need to. After all, y'all only sticking some shit down my throat and up my butt. So, uh, put me to sleep. Um, I'm not really nervous. It's kind of like, I'll be asleep. Not that big of a deal. But I am interested in finding out what they find out about my stomach. Like, let's just get this show on the road. And so it says I'm supposed to drink this every 10 minutes. So it's been about 15. So I need to drink some more. It say drink every 10 minutes until I have um, drunk four liters. So let's see. I don't know why I just gave out a piece of fingers like I was leaving because I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. I'm trying to refrain from cussing. Like, if y'all, I know I'm cussing a little bit here and there on accident. But if you watch this video versus any other of my videos, you will see that I curse a lot. And I'm really trying to reframe. I want this to be like an educational video. I want it to be helpful. And I want it to be for all backgrounds to look at. Um, religions, ages. I don't want it to be like, you know, oh, you watched my video and I was cussing too much so you turned it off. I really don't want to throw up. I maybe I really should grab a bucket. Oh my god! Like when I was about to drink it, my stomach kind of like jumped. Like don't drink that. <laughs> no.
so full. I got a, I got a belly. Look, y'all. Jesus. My stomach is filled with laxative. Oh my God. I feel so nauseous. Okay, it is 9.05 and still nothing. But I just feel miserable. Like, I feel nauseous. I feel so nauseous. Like, I want to just throw up. I just want to... I just want to throw up. Mm. But, nothing. So... I'm glad I'm not hungry anymore. I just feel like I want to get this off of my stomach. Or whatever this gavel light is, I just want to get it off. I want to just, ugh. I'm done for today, though. I drank the four um, liters halfway or whatever. And then I have to refrigerate that. And six hours before my appointment, I have to wake up and I have to drink the rest of it. Or at least try. And then go to my appointment. So, um, I will come back to you guys, like I said once before, if anything happens. I don't know what's wrong, but it is 2.40, 3 a.m., and I have had no action. It's almost time for me to drink. The rest of the stuff and nothing. It's two forty six and we got action. So it's three twenty six, might as well say three thirty. And I am in that window period of the six hours before the scopes. So I am trying to finish the rest of this yellow light solution. It's getting harder and harder to push through the closer I get to the bottom, it seems. I keep more if I want to throw up. I still have like that type of reflux feeling going on right now. Um, I've only had one bowel movement, and I've been drinking this since 7 p.m. Um, my mom was like, well, have you been drinking it, right? And for her answer, yes, I have. This is how much I have left. This is odd made some significant progress if you can see it started up here and now i'm down here that's good progress and so what i'm doing is i'm literally chasing this with this so I highly suggest that you get this Gatorade. If you have to go to this, the Glacier Cherry, because it definitely whew, offsets it. So I'm trying to push through this full glass in one setting. Ah. Ah. Oh, shit. Y'all don't know. I don't know. I'll be dramatic. This shit is just nasty. And it's thick. Imagine drinking a... Imagine drinking like a thick like filmy type of water. Like a dirty spring water type taste. You see, I don't like spring water because to me spring water tastes like dirty water. I don't like purified water. But this is awful. It's like a little bit of like saltiness taste to it too. Like lightly salty. Like mm, my stomach's starting to hurt, I'll tell you that. <clears throat> it is 355. I haven't had any action. Even though my stomach is kind of like rumbling and like bubbling. <laughs> Here it is. 
another glass of this crap. We're making our way downtown. I don't know how I'm going to be able to finish all of this. I'm being honest. I don't know if I can drink that whole thing. I want you to drink the entire thing. I don't know if I can do it. Every time I drink it, I got I to brace myself all over again. Like... Hopefully, after going through all of this, they have some kind of like resolution or answers as to why my stomach is always in like such chronic pain. Like a lot of times, I can't sleep because I'm being like woken up, woken up out of my sleep because my stomach is hurting. Um, if I have to use the bathroom, if I have to use it right then at that moment, I cannot hold it or I'm like my back will start hurting, my stomach will start cramping, I'll get the sweats, I'm getting a headache, I'm feeling nauseous. Um, after I have a bowel movement, it's like I'm starving as if I haven't eaten in like days. And so when the um, gastroenterologist, I mean gastroenterologist, um, he was like mashing on my stomach and I was telling him that, you know, he was trying to check for pain. I was telling him, like, when he mashed on my stomach, it never hurts anywhere but, like, up top. Up top here at the top of my stomach, right below my rib cage, is where it's usually pain at. So, we're going to see what's going on. Oh, put me out of my misery. I find it a lot easier when you just have to just drink, 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 drink. And when you drink and stop and drink and stop, it's harder. Oh, I feel so full. I just like I'm full of liquid. You know how you drink like a whole bunch of water, and you just feel like. Okay, 4:33 a.m. and I just had my second DM. Um, like I told you guys, I haven't eaten anything since Sunday, 10 p.m. So that may be the reason why I'm not really having frequent bowel movements. But I'm going to lay back down and try to get some more sleep because I am sleeping. <sighs> okay, so it's 5 a.m. sharp. And I just had a bowel movement. And as you guys know, I did drunk another glass, like 4.55 or 4.53, whatever time it was. Um, my stool is not like a clear, like watery liquid. Um, this is what the goal was for drinking that Gapolite. You want to get your stool to a clear yellowish substance. That's how you know all your intestines and your colon and everything um, are completely cleaned out. Even though I just drank that glass, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go to the bathroom again, but that should be my last time going. Whew. Good night. I'll come back to you guys in a few hours. So, it is about 7.20 and the colonoscopy and the endoscopy is scheduled for 9 a.m. It's going to take me 30 minutes to get to the hospital that I'm going to. And so I'm going to take my shower now. I just had a, a um, bowel movement about five minutes ago. And I'm ready for another one right, right now. So I'm going to catch up with you guys when I get my clothes on. I'm getting ready to go. I'm putting on my shoes. I'm about to go. It is 8.07. The procedure is at 9. It takes about 30 minutes to get there. Now, see, prior to today, I will... I believe that they told me to be there 15 minutes early, but the letter I got in the mail yesterday said they'd be there an hour early. <laughs> Either way, I'll be fine. I'm leaving out. I'm going to record more more when I get there. Mm, I'm not nervous. I'm really ready to just get this over with so I can eat. I'm pretty hungry, <laughs> and I just want to be completely comfortable. So, I'm running late. And so right now, I'm in the bathroom changing. I'm 
Walmart, register, put it on my hospital card. <laughs> I don't know why they made three days to that. I got these big ass feet. Well, I actually do. I wear size 14. Ooh, I'm just really ready to get this over with so I can get me something to eat. I can get in bed. I'm not going to work today because I'm sure I'm going to be exhausted after this. And it's almost time. I believe it's like 9 o'clock now, so I'm actually running really, really late. So I just had to come in and check in. Um, they asked me a few questions. Never had anything to eat in the past, um, eight hours or ten hours or whatever. General questions. But now I'm going, so I'll check with you guys in a minute. So, I'm finally all prepped and ready to go. I came in late, so they kind of just like rushed me, rushed me, rushed me, rushed me. But they're going to find my doctor and make sure everything is ready to go. I got my mom with me. Even though she's like can't have one of her moods right now. She got over it. So I was gonna check back with you guys when I come out. Hopefully we get some answers as to what's wrong with my stomach. I'm not nervous, I'm not scared or nothing. I'm just ready to eat and get it over with. <laughs> Hmm. I'm all finished. And I know he's probably on. Ready to go. I'm ready to get something to eat. You want to try something to drink? Um, yes. Yeah, some apple juice or water? Apple juice. Thank you. You didn't find anything. What did they say? Everything is fine with my stomach. I am so terribly sleepy. They finally got that stupid IV out of me. It was fairly fast when they woke me up. They was like, you're in recovery. I'm like, I'm in recovery. Like, yep, yeah, you're all done. <laughs> so, you know, my mom went to valet to get my car. Cause I can't have anyone drive me home. I mean, I can't drive home after her. Nobody drives me home. I just really want to just lay back. But now, I'm going to catch up with you guys when I get home after I give you something to eat. Ooh, child, I am so sleepy. Now, I'm in a wheelchair waiting to be pushed back to the entrance or to my car. They're going to push me to valet. And it's just me getting in the car. I was not this sleepy before. Jesus. So, stay tuned for the aftermath. I'm going to give you guys a whole rundown about this whole entire experience and what's next since they didn't find anything. What's up? So, all of that is in the past, and I'm done with that. I'm a little bothered they didn't find any answers, but it is what it is. I'm eating one of my favorite comfort foods. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. You guys can't even see it for real. I don't want to drop it. Mmm. -hmm. This is... You can't even see it. I'm trying to get you like, let you guys see it. But it is a chicken bacon. It's a chicken and bacon um, 
loaded potato. Got my sour creams. And my pita bread. Mm-mm. I'm a happy camper. My Gatorade. I'm a happy camper, y'all. I can eat. I'm over at. So they're ruling it as IBS. They're just calling it IBS. So that's just it. I don't know. I don't know where we go from there. Maybe I'll get a follow-up phone call or a follow-up appointment or something. I don't know. Um, but I really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed this and got some information from it. It's not that bad. The procedure, I believe, was about, mm, I want to say maybe two hours. It was about a two-hour procedure. Not, not long. When I woke up, I didn't remember a thing. The last thing I remember is falling asleep. Before I fell asleep, they had me like turn on my side and they put a, um, a pillow beneath my waist and um, I had to turn completely on my left and lay on his shoulder. So I guess he could have easy access. <laughs> um, I remember she started putting the, um, the anesthesia in the IV and like, boom, it was just like, they asked me what was my name? And it's at this point, I keep saying my name in all these different orders. Because when I was first getting prepped, I would start saying my full name. And then, not I said my first last name and my hyphenated name. And then, in the room, I said my entire name. First, last, middle, and hyphenated name. And they read off the number off the barcode, my MRN number. And they scanned my... A uh, badge. They put this mouth guard in my mouth for the endoscopy so they could have an easy access, I guess, to put the tube down my throat. But they didn't put the tube down there just yet. They just put the mouth guard. They told me to stop talking because, of course, I was talking. They said they didn't want the guard to fall off. And then I would say within three to four minutes, I was out like the light and I was waking back up. In the um, recovery room, and she went to get my mom. Real simple, real easy. And now I'm gonna let y'all go because I'm starving and my stomach has gotten that little bit of taste of that food and it's growling for more. So, gotta go. About to get my grub on and watch some Real Housewives of Atlanta. Blue! In the words of Nene. <laughs> Talk to y'all later. Thanks for tuning in. Comment below. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Um, ask me any questions. You guys can see that I'm open about it. I, I really don't care. Um, I'm up for any and all questions. I'll give as much knowledge that I can on this topic. And we can go from there. Thanks for tuning in. And check out some other content on my channel.